Hey fellow Guardians, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and yes, Destiny is finally here. We can all celebrate, but we also want to do good in co-op and online multiplayer in the PvP because we want to prove ourselves against our fellow Guardians. Well, we're going to go over some tips for you today. These are going to help you out in Destiny, and also I'm hoping they do help you out in other shooters as well, but they have helped me out big time in basically every game that I have played, including Battlefield 4 and then other shooters. So let's get to it. Let's get to the Destiny tips. So first off, you're going to be beginning in co-op. Don't choose your class wisely. That's right. Do not choose wisely. You really don't have to worry about this because you will be able to change your class at any time and it's really good to actually experiment with all classes also because weapon lockers are shared between classes so you have your own storage and you could store your weapons there do not worry about dismantling them i highly recommend storing most of your weapons for your other classes to experiment experiment with and you will be able to take these weapons into co-op and pvp so remember that when going into destiny hunters of course get the golden gun titans get the fist of havoc and finally the warlock gets the nova bomb the one thing that i do like about the hunters and warlock is they seem like they get more reach with their super so keep that in mind as well with the titans they take a lot of damage and they can deal it but you really do have to get up close and personal especially when you're dealing with bosses as well so before you head out to co-op or PvP, get loaded up on the bounties. This is really important. Load up on as much bounties as possible. Always check the bounty board to see if you have any rewards waiting for you as well before heading out. I usually sometimes forget about doing this. It's very important that you get your rewards after playing. So now on to the actual gameplay tips. What do you do when you actually get your gun in your hands? And you're on the battlefield well first of all have fun i'm not joking just have fun because you're probably going to suck anyway at the beginning of the game i usually suck at all games that i start out with for the first couple of hours and then i have learned to really enjoy sucking until i get better and that's just part of uh the gaming experience but you can get better by doing some simple things and first of all it's really really imperative you use the sights in this game game as much as possible aim down those sights whenever you can uh hip firing really does not work all the time in destiny and get away with it sometimes with the light machine guns when you're extremely up close but remember to aim down the sights also boosting and platforming is going to be extremely important to master take your time on this have fun mastering this mechanic because it's going to be important to flanking enemies there are going to be platforms in multiplayer pvp and then in co-op to help you outflank your enemy so you're going to want to parkour to your heart's content and really goof off in the first hours of the game now you may be noticing that people are trying to outflank you and doing that exact same tactic well i recommend holding out with your supers that you have especially the warlocks uh, nova bomb if you can wait for your enemy to jump or boost near you you can leap up and wait for them to land and then activate your super it's sort of a counter move but it has really worked in the past for me a lot using the supers to defend instead of attacking can be extremely helpful especially if your health is taking a hit and you're in trouble and you're defending a control point you can really take them out with your nova bomb or whatever super you are using now if you do find yourself in trouble and you have very little health i recommend falling back yes you can actually do this in destiny get close to a wall and near a door's frame and wait for the enemy to come around and melee punch the heck out of them and then finish them off with your gun this is extremely useful you can either do the melee punch or use your shotgun of course that's probably one of the best things to do is have the shotgun as your secondary for those moments when you're in trouble and you need to back off behind a wall or something like that but they really don't expect you to be waiting there all the time uh, because you're in trouble and they expect you to be running away that's just a tactic that's helped me a ton in most shooters that i've played also communicate with your team and stick with them throughout the game do not be afraid to put your headset on and communicate that hey i've got alpha or bravo is being taken or this dude has a super ready to go be careful that's really really important to remember to communicate 
with your team at all times. And if you are having trouble adopting to the game, I recommend paying attention to who's doing really, really good on your team. Stick close by them, learn their tactics. I've done it many, many times and it helps me out a ton in games that I play. Do not be afraid to say, I am sucking and I need to learn from someone. That really can help you big time if you take your ego out of the equation and really learn from someone in your time with Destiny. And another tactic my bro Ryan and I use in the game is leading and following. You really need someone that's going to be the leader and then someone that's going to be the follower so you guys are not communicating too much. You just have one person telling you what's going on. The other person is just listening in and really understanding as to where to go. And you could reverse those roles between rounds. It's really good to figure out who's the best leader and follower for certain map types. But it is a ton of fun learning this tactic and learning how to properly communicate even in all of the chaos. So guys, get to it. Learn to lead and follow in Destiny. And always, always look for special ammo and heavy ammunition. This is going to be extremely important for you to get this because you can really turn the tide of the battle for your favor and your team's favor. And mentioning your team, uh, getting special ammo and heavy ammunition actually helps your overall score as a team. So remember that you are benefiting your team by grabbing that special ammo and heavy ammunition. And whatever you do, be completely unpredictable. I'm talking about do not use the same entrances twice. If you are in the middle of an engagement and you get hit by someone and you retreat, do not return to that area immediately. Try to outflank the opponent or finding another opening to get to them. Try to think outside the box and really, really, I recommend never to pop your head uh, out in the same space twice. This really is important. It's sort of like AI that you see in games. If you see them uh, duck behind cover and then suddenly rise up again, you know they're in trouble. You're going to shoot their head immediately and it's sort of the same concept here. And your parents probably have told you this since you were little, but look both ways. I'm talking about when you exit a room into an exterior space space make sure you are looking both ways before you even move forward this is going to help you a ton this actually improved my game big time i cannot tell you how much this simple tactic really really did help me so consider taking that few seconds to quickly look to your left and then your right and then dart to cover use the cover by the way that is extremely important to remember and mentioning cover always try to have something obstructing your backside it's the one area that is going to get you killed simply because you cannot defend it. You will not be able to defend your backside at all in any shooters, in fact. So you could take care of that by using a box or whatever to obstruct the view of your body from enemy players and give you know the, you that chance that you really need, especially if you start an engagement with another opponent. You will have time to recover and possibly look at your surroundings and engage anyone that's approaching you. So use cover to your advantage always try to think about your backside and try to obstruct it as much as possible and use the grenades to defend control points now i imagine that they are probably going to nerf this eventually or they already have in fact but warlock's grenades are great for defending control points you could pop those down on a control point and they will remain for a little while and that will give you a chance to really defend it and it will also obstruct players view so Remember, trying to cause as much confusion if someone is attacking you, and the grenade is one of the best ways to do that. Also, the Titan's Fist of Havoc leaves an area effect damage after being deployed. This is most common also with the Titan and the Warlock. Remember this when you are in battle because you can defeat your opponent and accidentally step into these area effect uh, damage fields. And that also goes for the grenade. If you see with someone dying and lobbing a grenade at the last second do not become complacent remember those grenades can cause major damage over a short period of time especially if you step into them and they are great once again for defending and also don't sprint all the time that is not good news it really does slow you down when you need to aim down the sight so remember that especially when going into interiors and around an objective sprinting is a no-no slow down slow your roll and really take your time when entering an interior and by the way 
don't get too bunched up with your teammates. This is huge. Because I'm sure many of you have stumbled across the Destiny videos, those epic montages where you see three or four people getting vaporized all at once and that's because they were all too bunched up together. Even if you're on an objective and you guys are uh, trying to capture, I recommend not bunching up. The game was sort of designed or trying to get people to bunch up so that someone can come in with uh, the Warlock's Nova Bomb and take you all out. But I really do not recommend it because it will hurt you greatly. You all have to respawn. It's going to take time to respawn and regather yourself and figure out what to do next. Now, grenades, I spoke about them when using them to defend. That is important to remember. But what do you do with them if you have one? and you're going on the attack. Well, I do recommend if you do have an indication that an enemy is guarding an objective, go ahead and throw that grenade before you are even around the corner, or if you can throw it over an object and you think you can hit them, the distraction alone will get their nerves going. You know, you will be able to take advantage of that and catch them off guard and really cause some chaos. It's really about causing chaos these games more than anything else. You really want to get them nervous before you are even on the battlefield. So remember that. Try to cause distractions as much as possible with your grenades. So there you go fellow guardians. That's basically all the tips I have for you today for Destiny. But you can expect more Destiny coverage right here on Open World Games. I'm so thrilled that this game is finally out. I know many of you have been really waiting for this game much like me and I have been enjoying it a ton especially during the beta and then now finally we get the new content the new maps co-op story all of it so guys I'm gonna go play right now I will see you next time thanks guys for liking the video and subscribe if you are wanting more destiny coverage